okay hi guys welcome to the channel uh i hope you're well so how many of you trade like this i'm sure you can relate because i also used to trade like this when i started trading i was sold onto the idea of having so many indicators that you need this indicator you need that indicator you need to place this indicator in order to be able to make money in forex trading but how many of you know that you don't need all of that trading can be as simple as just having this your chart and just price action you are just looking at what price is doing trading can be so simple guys i think the problem with us is we try to complicate uh, trading we cannot trust things that are simple even after i show you how simple this is because this is the strategy that has helped me to quit my job which i kind of hated and during this corona virus thing it wasn't working out so i decided to quit my job and focus on my trading and my other businesses my other side hustles so that's basically what i've been doing so when i say i'm busy it's either i'm trading or i'm busy with my other side hustles which i'll probably uh, talk about in the near future but basically this strategy is one of the approaches that has helped me to be consistently consistently profitable in my forex trading and like with everything else on this channel you can go back to when i started posting videos on this channel i love sharing free knowledge with you guys so leave a like like seriously uh like this video it helps to get these videos in front of as many people so that we can help each other i am passionate about helping other traders that's why i usually spend even my own money sometimes buying systems buying indicators buying robots and sharing them with you for free uh if you need to download anything go on to the blog you probably find things there if you cannot find anything there then uh, you can always come back and leave a comment in the comments box below i will try underline try because sometimes i have to buy some of these things so i will try to get my hands on the system the indicator or the thing that you think can improve your trading but if you are looking to simplify your trading you are tired of the gimmicks the fake indicators the fake systems the uh, fake gurus fake mentors and stuff or whether you are not unhappy with them but you want to learn to trade by yourself i think this is a great strategy to start with it doesn't need indicators and it doesn't need too much effort or too much thinking on your part okay so like i said i'm here to help you so leave a like like this video and share it with your friends let's start with the requirements for uh, this strategy before we get into it what you are going to need is you are going to need patience you need patience as a trader 
you need patience. I can never overemphasize on that. You need to learn to be patient. The problem with forex traders and why you are getting your accounts blown is you are trying to impose your will on the market with your hundred dollar account with your thousand dollar account you are not going to move the market what you can do is be patient and wait for the market to do what you want it to do and then you get in and you go with the flow but don't try to make the market a five six trillion dollar a day market do what you think you want it to do with your thousand dollar ten thousand dollar hundred thousand dollar account it doesn't happen second thing is obviously management no when to close your trades no when to take profit always know your risk always always know your risk i think the third and last rule is don't over trade don't over trade place one or two or three trades that's it and close your laptop close your chats and go and do something else and let the market do what the market does either it's going to hit your stop loss or it's going to hit your take profit uh, don't try to over trade even when you think you are on top of the market don't try to over trade because that what the market wants you to to do once you feel like you have mastered the market you are untouchable that's when the market takes the rug of your feet and you blow your account okay so i've been i've done a lot of talking i intended to make this video short so let's get into how to trade this strategy it's so simple i don't know why i did not learn this strategy when i was starting my forex trading and wasting money and wasting uh, my time trying to find the holy grail of forex trading those indicators by the way i have nothing against people who use indicators i am still going to post indicators on this channel uh, on the blog i do not have anything against people who trade with indicators i do use indicators myself but i think we use indicators differently uh, allow me uh, to take a moment the problem with uh, indicators is sometimes it's not because indicators are bad it's how people use them many people especially beginner traders they try to rely 100 percent on the indicators they want the indicator to tell them that it's time to to buy it's time to sell it's time to do this it's time to do that they forget that the indicator is only calculating previous data it's only calculating historical data from the market so it cannot tell you if it's the right time to trade or if it's the right time to buy or to sell how i use indicators is only as a visual tool just to help me to visualize for example like this it just helping me to visualize the market i am just visualizing the market and basically this is the strategy so i am plotting my support and resistance to help me visualize what's probably happening in the market but it doesn't mean that 
because price has come here it's a sell signal no what if price breaks out i need a confirmation that that is not happening so that's the problem with people people who are not patient when market comes here they immediately i didn't want to put that line in there when the market comes here people immediately sell or immediately buy if you had sold well good for you the market eventually sold but if you had bought because here it looked like it had broken out you would have been caught on the wrong side of the market so you need to have a system you need to have a system and not rely on indicators so much they can be helpful just as visual tools okay so now let's get into the strategy i am on gbp usd the daily time frame so the strategy relies on the daily time frame you can try and tweak it to the four hourly but i recommend that you use the daily time frame so it's going to be hard for people who are used to scalping who are used to always watching the market to adjust to this kind of trading but think about it even if you watch the market 24 hours a day even if you watch the market seven days a week you are just going to strain your eyes the you cannot move the market just by watching it you are not going to move the market with your ten dollar account with your hundred dollar or two thousand dollar five thousand dollar account so basically you might as well just switch to the higher time frames place your trades walk away go something you know, find something else to do or if you're studying if you're studying another side also and things like that okay so now that we have plotted our support and resistance by the way everyone has their way of plotting support and resistance find what works for you some people enjoy or prefer plotting their support and resistance at the tip of the weeks some people do it at the body of the of the candle so find what works for you whether you prefer at the weeks or at the body find what works for you uh, i usually place at the body because i often plot my support and resistance based on the line chart so the line chart doesn't show weeks so yeah find what works for you either way uh, the strategy is going to use candlesticks and we are on the hourly not hourly on the daily chart so all of these are daily candles these are daily candles these are daily candles we are on the daily chart so you plot your support resistance on the daily chart then what do you do you start looking for opportunities you start looking for opportunities when price is in the middle of the channel there don't do anything don't take any trades unless you have a region that's 
that you probably think there is something a minor support resistance going on there we might put that in but i prefer to not trade these middle ranges because you don't know where it's going so you are going to have to be patient be patient to wait for price to come to your support of to wait for price to come to your resistance wait for price to come to your support wait for price to come to your resistance don't trade the middle ranges the middle ranges is where they kill you because they will swing the market that side they will swing the market this side and you don't know which way it's going but if you wait for price to come to a base or a roof you wait for your confirmations there you have got a better a better chance of winning your trades you have got a better chance of winning your trades when you are trading from the floor or from the roof not in the air they will take you this way they will take you this way and you blow your account so now that we've cleared that what are we looking for before we can enter our trades guys this is so simple you won't believe it trust me there are people who are going to take this strategy and they are going to try and make it into a complicated system a system that they will not understand how to use whereas this is just simple okay so you wait for a situation like this that's the situation that we want let's do this okay we have two bearish candles two bearish candles here that came into our support we do not take the trade immediately because we are waiting for confirmation we are patiently patiently waiting for confirmation so we don't take we don't suddenly buy because we saw two bearish candles here we wait for confirmation to say the market is not breaking out to the downside that is going back so we need confirmation so that's where the patient the patience comes in where i said be patient learn to be a patient trader don't rush into the market the market loves people who just rush in so that it takes their money now after seeing these two bearish candles you are not going to do anything you are going to wait you are going to wait basically uh, sit and do nothing you are going to wait for the first reversal candle this bullish candle the black one and you are going to wait for it to close this is a day so this is a day of doing nothing imagine a day of doing nothing well if you probably have other things to do this is a day do your laun your laundry or go and play games or go and study or go and do other business second day comes you are not going to do anything you are going to watch that second day candle and watch it close and you are not going to do anything so you have two candles going down and two identical candles going up when this closes when this closes usually if there is a bullish candle as the third candle that's when you place your buy 
that's when you place your buy but in this situation you are still going to make money because even if you bought after the close of this second candle you probably placed your trade here and you were so scared because price after you place your buy price dipped but it never came down all this way it just came and touched this trend line now we know that there is a trend line because it's hindsight but it came down and touched this region which is still a zone of support and it went back up so you held your trade for the day you entered one two three four four days five days a whole trading week many people would have closed their trade here remember your tp is somewhere here or if you if you are so scared place your tp somewhere here in the middle of the zone but generally you are going to have your not tp your stop loss down here your stop loss down here your take profit your take profit is going to be at the next level you always set your take profit at the next level we are taking these trades for all the money they have so we are not going to be scalping or getting out of trades or panicking or or any of that things so that's why i said you have to be patient <coughs> sorry so your stop loss is going to be here and price came down and bounced back up what happened your trade was here now you are in profit and the next week there was a bearish candle you didn't do you didn't close your trade don't panic don't panic the check profit is there what happened price shot up all the way to the next level the resistance <coughs> forgive me for that how many pips was that from here to here let's see you would have made 500 pips 500 pips guys a simple strategy a simple strategy that does not require you to have all those indicators that clutter your screen that you don't even know what's what and where it's coming from and what's happening you would have made 550 no 500 505 pips for holding your trade how many days one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen days over half a month sixteen days you were just holding that trade whilst people were going in going out of the market you just chilled you were watching price going to the next level and once price reached somewhere here that's when you would move your stop loss to somewhere there or a break-even point so that 
because we don't control the market at least if it turns back on you say it had turned back somewhere there at least when it hits your trailing stop loss somewhere here at least you get out of the market with something now as price would continue going up and you are reaching close to your take profit you are reaching close to your take profit you would take out 80 or 90 percent of your trade if you had entered with a standard lot here you would take out 0 0.9 or 0 0.8 of your trade here and you leave the rest to reach your tp that's how you trade like a clever person that's how you get money out of the markets don't hold the whole standard lot up to here you do not control the market at any point the market might turn so take precaution let's find another trade to demonstrate the same thing okay so you probably were not here but you were watching price coming here let's remove that again same concept you are looking for two or three bullish candles to come smashing into resistance then you are not going to buy because you see this this is how they trap traders this is how they trap traders and after watching price come here you are going to wait for what two candles out of what your resistance i usually don't like the large candles but the large candles signal that it, indeed the sellers are in control here they are really taking the market down but i usually don't like these big candles because sometimes they signal the move has already happened but anyway in this case you'd have waited for your two candles your two bearish candles here yeah. your two bearish candles there and on the third candle third candle there this is daily this is the daily chart you place your sell order your stop loss there that's it your take profit there then you watch price moving price is moving somewhere around the middle of the range make sure you move your stop loss because the market is going to do what the market wants they are not going to just give you the money for free and it happened it never went all the way straight down it retraced and you would probably have been stopped out or you would have escaped it's all good and fine if your stop loss was hit here it's still fine you made how much profit something like 47 it's still fine 
47 pips is better than getting your account loan you will find a way of trailing your trades something that works for you so if your stop loss was not hit your trade would still have come to this level and your stop loss is probably somewhere there so you probably would have made something like 215 pips before your stop loss was hit and it never reached our TP which is important that as it goes towards the TP take out most of your profit take out most of your take out most of your profit take out most of your trade and leave the rest to run here is another example say you did not see this we have two bearish candles going down say you have identified a level there we have two bearish candles there we have two bullish candles you come here you place your buy and same deal your tp is at this level don't set your tp there you don't know what the market does you don't control the market your tp is always at the next level 278 seven, 279 pips <coughs> okay we've come to euro canadian some deal Look for your points of support and resistance, and there was a setup there. There was a setup there, and you'd have entered there for seven hundred thirty six. Pips. If it held, you would have made more than a thousand pips. Imagine. So it's a simple trick. It's a simple trick uh, that many people would try and complicate. It's a simple, simple trick with something there. I've got a setup here with a two candles into resistance and our two candles out of resistance would have sold on the third one there and had our support somewhere our stop loss somewhere there and would have collected 514 pips and the moment price starts moving you have moved your stop loss to break even but the goal is to reach the next level next level but you would trail your profit because you don't have the billions to move the market so the market can turn at any time and you have to give back the money that you have made 
another setup here we are in the zone to bearish candles followed by two bullish candles and you have entered here and that's something like 674 pips to the next level the moment price starts moving up you move your stop loss from down here and start trailing it start trading price until you reach the next level what do you do in these instances where you cannot see the setup you find another pair and by chance we have set up here boom set up there boom no trade there no trade there there is a trade there that's for some 174 pips We are going to miss this. We are going to miss this because there's no setup there. But who cares? What you missed here, you probably would have recovered it there. With that. And there is that and should have entered there and held on for 580 pips